so uh, so hi all this is kartik uh, today today i will try to uh, share my knowledge you know so today my, the main intention of this uh, video is to share uh, share my knowledge in order to sync the data between the databases so uh, i am working on a startup company and i have a challenge called uh, database sync like uh, we have a periodical database uh, periodical updates in the source database and the and changes needs to be tracked in the destination database let's say i have a data of uh, 5 gb uh, every time uh, every time i need to zip it or binar uh, zip it uh, and i need to do uh, do a restoration process in the destination database so yesterday i have gone through the one of the virtual meet of the microsoft so one of the employee of the microsoft has designed a framework called dot mem dot sync which helps us in order to uh, in order to sync databases between sql to sqlite sql to sql sql to mysql sql to mongo uh, sql to mysql sorry so the only relation database to relation database so by using five lines of code you can easily uh, do the database sync okay first uh, uh last day i was very eager to do a poc and i am trying to demonstrate that poc so so in coming episodes i will try to leverage uh, this framework and i will try to show more enhanced features on top of this uh, poc so uh, i have created a console application and i i have uh, i have added a nuget packages let me like uh, manage nuget packages and i had type put like dot min dot sync in the text box in the search area and i type enter so here dot min dot sync sql server i have installed this one and as well as i have installed uh, dot min sync dot sql server dot change tracking i will tell you why we install this one in uh, coming uh, session so after that i have created a two constant string two static strings like a uh, server connection string as well as a client connection string for demonstration purpose i have changed the a database names but both are reside in the same server okay i am trying to show the data transfer from sql to sql so i wrote a method called sync synchronize async so uh, here i declared like sql server change tracking provider uh i have ch i have opened change tracking provider in source database we can also do the same in destination database so and i have created a sql sync provider for client provider so i have added a string array uh, what tables need to be uh, exported to the destination database you can you can use comma separated strings okay so then after that i have created a agent and i am specifying the client provider server provider and tables so so and i have i have, I have launched the sync process by this method agent dot synchronize async okay so this is for uh, exiting of the window uh, console application i wrote this step okay so let me go through this uh, term uh, sql server management studio as i mentioned earlier i have loaded the sql stack overflow dump uh, 2010 dump it has around couple of tables and it's around uh, 8 gb of database so here today i'm trying to demonstrate the post links table so first of all as i showed here uh, i will try to create a stack uh, stack destination uh, stack destination database okay before that i will try to enable the uh, I will try to enable Stack Overflow 2010 change detection on. I will check whether the change detection is on or not. So it is saying that change detection is already enabled for this database. Previously, for uh, as a, while I am doing the coding, I have enabled this one, no issues. So I will try to create the destination database. Okay. So created successfully. Let us uh, let us refresh. So no tables, no schema. Okay, stack destination. Okay, 
you can also leverage uh, you can also open change detection for the stack dest uh, stack destination database no issues okay let's uh, try to run this uh, small program it's already started right so let me go through the let me check the count of the post links so it's around like 161519 so in destination database also we need to see the same count okay we need to wait for a couple of uh, minutes i believe less than 2 minutes so i thought uh, it would be helpful to share my poc so that uh, uh, basically five lines of code solves the solves our purpose we can leverage like uh, uh, it is a i will also share this uh, link uh, so uh, uh, doc links uh, where i took inspiration so in order we can also add filters on top of it like in order to uh get specific columns into the destination database so i will show you one thing okay so once you open uh let me open stack overflow so post links right uh post links uh, these two these two tables are created by the dot mem dot sync framework what it will do was it uh, as a as i opened the change tracking mechanism on right so uh, it will uh, it will persist the these two tables will persist the data uh, persist the info like sql info history means uh, it will see we, we will see the goid as well as uh, when it when the change has in happened those kind of stuff we will see let me click on it let me try to open Let's check whether it will be opened or not see uh as i mentioned goid last thing like uh, last thing scope of the last thing duration and scope last thing date okay so another table like scope info server here also like scope uh, sync scope schema so actually i am providing the post right this will be created in a destination database as as we as we not provided the schema so by default this framework will take care of it uh, no need to create manually because we are cloning the database i would say mm. let us be ready with the stack destination database so i also i will try to see I, in the meantime i will try to show you this one in store proc section what uh, dot mem dot sync uh, uh, framework will does was it will automatically create this uh, store procs like bulk update bulk it so in order so these are the merge statements previously uh, developers used to write uh, these type of statements in order to you know, track the changes that are happened in the table and are you need to persist between the source and destination database now by this framework it will it will automatically write uh, it will automatically do for us and it is easy to it is automatically do for us and it is easy right so these are the store procs why it is uh, taking use time let us check
actually my system was too slow now i don't know what's the reason let's wait for uh, so in the meantime uh, i will try to show you this uh, oh oh my damn sorry for that and uh, sorry apologies so i took the break point man that's the reason sorry sorry guys apologies so in the meantime i will try to cover this uh, documentation right uh, feel free to go through this uh, documentation i will try to share this link dot mem dot sync uh, so uh, as i mentioned earlier sql sync provider remote orchestrator sql agent i have created the agent right local orchestrator in orchestrator means uh, it's it adds like a medium between the sql agent as well as uh, sql so it, it, this uh, image clearly uh, tells us uh, that the source database is the sql server whereas the destination database is sql right right that's why uh, on the right hand side uh, top right hand side uh, on right hand side it is showing the sql sync provider okay so uh, uh it's a we can do in dotnet standard 2.0 compatible projects like uh, dot asp.net core 2.0 3.1 or you can use uh, dotnet framework 4.8 console actually uh, as i mentioned earlier i have downloaded dot dot min dot sync dot sql server nuget package so uh, to leverage this uh, they are providing admin adventure works uh, lightweight script for you okay no issues i used my custom database okay mm. so uh, these are the documentation so i will share this link at the end of the section so let's wait let's wait yes boom done right so you see almost actually i forgot to remove that breakpoint right almost it took 1 minute 47 seconds in order to uh, in order to load data from source to destination let us check right let us check the in the sql server management studio uh, as i opened it like uh, see 1651 161519 okay now I will try to go to the source dist, uh, source database and I will try to update the post links of the particular ID. Okay. Now what I will do was I will try to open again the destination database and I will try to hit the enter. See downloaded one applied one. Okay. So almost 6.501 let me check whether it got updated or not i opened the so i have updated for uh, id 19 in source database whether it got reflected or not let us check the link type id should be 3 right see link type id should be 3 done so uh, let us do one thing let let us do one thing i will try to update the destination database as a link type id 4 okay so i have updated right so i uh, have post id is 109 right what i will do was i will try to open the destination database enter by four right i will try to update this one as one and that's it let's see so what i will do so uh parallelly it got changed but uh dot mem framework dot sync or dot mem dot sync dot framework what it does was let's see so as i mentioned earlier uploaded one downloaded one applied one conflicts one what what this mean conflicts so as i changed the same column in destination database as well as the source database so obviously the server will took the precedence and you will see the destination database uh, you will see the destination database uh, post links table link type id will be automatically updated as one let us check okay in this is the source database i'm going see link type id one and let us go to the destination database and you will see the link type id also one so the the main object is server will always take the precedence 
so thank you for watching and feel free to post the queries in the query section in comment section uh thank you very much i will try to leverage this framework in coming episodes and i will try to share my knowledge so thank you one and all for giving me this opportunity